In this lesson, we are going to create a rating and product item component to make the home screen component based, to make the code of home screen modular right here. Let us start by going to the components folder and create a new component named rating. What we're going to do here is to shape a star's base rating. As first step, define function rating and set props for this component. Here is the structure of this props. It's an object that includes rating of type number, num reviews of type number, it can be null, and caption of type string. At the end, export default rating. Inside this component, the structure props and get rating num reviews and caption then return a div like this set class name to rating for this class go to index.css and at the very end set a spans inside rating class set the color to gold next step inside the div we're gonna shape five stars rating. Let's start by the first star. Here is the first one. First of all, we create an, an a span. Here is the first one. We created a span here. Inside that, we render icon. For icon, set class name to this conditional rendering. If rater, if rating is greater than or equal to one, we need to show full star using font awesome solid fa dash star. If it's greater than 0 0.5, we need to show half a star using this CSS class from font awesome. And if it's less than half a star, we show empty star using font awesome regular fa star to import font awesome in this project simply go to index.html and right after icon add this css link link set relationship to style sheet and set href to this link you can find this link on the jsdeliver.net save it and go back to rating tsx to shape the second star here is the code for second star we compare the rating with two if it's greater than two show full star and the other conditions are similar to the first one here is third star let's go for the fourth star and the last star is for this one comparing rating with five at the end we need to render this conditional rendering if we have caption we need to render the caption inside a span the caption comes from the props otherwise if we don't have caption we need to check num reviews if it's not zero render it like this inside a span put on a space num review and the reviews text if num review is zero show nothing and let's go to create another component named product item to use it in the home screen right click in components folder set new file product new file name to product item tsx and here define function product item it accept product as props the type of product is product imported from types folder and export product item so what we're gonna do here is to replace the code inside products.map this code with product item component to do that 
we need to return a card like this import card from React Bootstrap. Inside card, return a link. Link to the product slug, import link from React Rotterdam. And inside link, show an image, set source to product image, set class name to card image top. It's a class from React Bootstrap. And for alternative text, show the product name. Right after link, create cart body. Here is the cart body. And inside that, display a link to the product and set cart title to the product name. And here is the beauty of component in React. I'm creating, I'm using rating component that I defined in the components folder. So import it and pass two props, rating and num reviews. They are coming from the product object in the props of product item component. Right after rating, show product price using cart.txt component. And at the end, render this conditional rendering. If content stock equal to zero, show this button out of box. Otherwise, show this button add to cart. For out of box, set variant to light and disabled to make a difference between disabled item and a active button. Import button from React Bootstrap. Like this. Great, here is the code for product item and we are ready to use it inside the home screen. Simply get rid of a link here and replace it with product item, this one. Press tab to automatically import it right here. We do not need link here. I scroll down and find product item, set product props to the product object inside products array. So pass it and close it. Save the code. And here is the magic. We created beautiful product item list like this. And as you see, we have used the rating component, the product item component inside the homepage component. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye. In this lesson, we are going to change the page title in React application. To do that, we need to use a package named React Helmet Async. Open your terminal, a new terminal, go to frontend folder, and npm install React Helmet Async. Next step is importing Helmet Provider from this package in the main TSX. So go to main TSX at the very beginning, import helmet provider, and then wrap the rotor provider inside this component. So get rid of it and replace it with this one. So we are ready to use it in the pages. Let's go to the home page. It's the only page that we have. And go to the return part. Here, we are ready to set the page title. Right after row, I'm going to use it. Create a new component, set the name to helmet. Press tab to Im auto import it from React, helmet async. And inside this component, we can enter meta tags like title like what we did for regular HTML documents. I'm going to set it to TS Amazona. You can enter your brand of your e-commerce website. You can also enter meta tag if you want. I'm going to just keep the title here. Let's check the result. Awesome. I set the page to TS Amazona. 
If I click on a product, I will be redirected to product page. But here, as you see, we have TS Amazon here. We can go to page. We can go to product page. And here we can use the same idea. Use helmet, import it, and set title to, let's say, product page. So if I change the title of this page to something else, here I can see that. But if I go to the home page, click back, as you see, the home page has home page meta tag using helmet, and the product page has product page. So we can respect the search engine optimization rules to set the page title based on the content of the web page. Great, that's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.